just arrived uh, half an hour ago. Drilling into history is a delicate task. But after more than 130 years, people in Poundmaker Cree Nation are ready for redemption. One, go. To unveil the truth about their founder. This painting by renowned Cree artist Kent Monkman was donated to the First Nation in preparation of Chief Poundmaker's exoneration. So what's he doing exactly in this picture? I think he's like he's telling them about that pipe that we stood up, we, we made an oath with this pipe. It just confirms uh, the stories that we've been told and how we live our lives here. It depicts Poundmaker, whose Cree name was Pitawana Piawin, as he is remembered by his people, a peacemaker who prevented bloodshed but was convicted of treason. He didn't have to go through that. He didn't need to go through that, and yet that happened, and we're ready to, I guess, to forgive that and just kind of move on from there. And Celeste Tatusis is a descendant of Poundmaker, five generations back. We want to change the perception of our, our people. For over a century, Chief Poundmaker has been described as a traitor in history books, but people here know that's not true, and now, the rest of Canada will. This whole area marks yeah. the battlefield. Poundmaker stopped his warriors from chasing Canadian forces down during a battle on these grounds in 1885. It's believed he prevented the deaths of 330 men. Former Chief Blaine Favel has done the math. He estimates that translates to about 100,000 descendants who are still alive today. So that's why, we, why he was hugely important. The peaceful settling of the plains is not disconnected to the life of Chief Poundmaker. But Poundmaker would not be seen in this light until after his death. He was tried and convicted for treason, accused of provoking the fight. He was jailed and died a few months after his release. This is a huge open wound, a festering wound for Canadian uh, Indigenous relations. For the next 35 years, Favel says the community wasn't allowed to have a chief. The government took away their guns and horses, leaving them with little to make a livelihood. Favel is negotiating the terms of the exoneration. Um, I think I'll have a hard time keeping a, you know, a, dry, eye, a dry eye that day because it's so significant for the country. Yeah. Favel wants an apology from the Prime Minister, followed by a financial settlement. Canada is built um, day by day, relationship by relationship, so it feels like we're coming into the Canadian fabric. Ottawa is moving forward with the community's request. A date hasn't been set, but when it does, history will have to be rewritten. So will this sign have to change? Sign's got to go. Sign's got to go. This sign will go, that sign will go, all the signs around here will go. Canadian history books will have to change. Well, I just love this land. It's, there's, it's just beautiful. Mavis Billisberger gets emotional each time she drives in. Poundmaker was her great, great, great grandfather. He chose these valleys to make a home for his people. It's time to, to make things right because that's all they were after was the land. And, uh, well, we survived. And it was because of Chief Poundmaker because he, uh, uh, in this community anyway, that um, um, he, thought, he thought of the future. He thought of uh, um, future generations living on this land. Now those generations will grow up knowing and reading their people's truth about how their leader put his community first. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Poundmaker Cree Nation.